I'm actually having fun playing Clash Royale, which may come as a shock to you, and I have put together this monstrosity. With Evolve Valkyrie getting a HP buff and Evolve Zap just coming out, I want to try the epic combo of trying to get E-Barbs to the tower with Evolve Valkyrie pulling everything in with the Tornado and the Evolve Zap being able to clear out pretty much anything. In my head, you just, Korea Orange, you just had to start the game on a negative tone like that, didn't you? Oh, just, you know what? Emotes are off. You know what? No, emotes are wrong so that I can teach this guy a little fucking lesson. Hey, enough. I've got the pay to win emote. It's going to be a long day for you. But yeah, in my brain, this strategy sounds fantastic, right? You play Valkyrie, play Valkyrie at bridge, play Elite Barbarian behind Valkyrie, just save up two Elixir for Evolve Zap, and oh yeah, Evolve Valkyrie as well. That's crucial. And then bingo, bango, I win game. So they really didn't go for the firecracker that's fine i've cycled my valkyrie if only i could play evolved e-bobs <laughs> i gotta be careful what i wish for because they'll actually fucking add it and they'll make it too op oh my god look at that clinical defense king tower activated now i'm not gonna go valkyrie at the bridge i don't want him to figure out that that's my whole gimmick yet i just want to i just want to tease him make him think yeah yeah you can defend level 15 e-bobs with wait I just realized I got level 15 e -bobs. When did I max them? Whatever. What, uh, past Ken, he knew, man. He was a genius. All right, we're just going to zap that. And now, if I play my next... Oh! How does that still get a hit? All right, well, I've got my Valkyrie. And now my next one's going to be evolved, which is going to be epic. So then I'm going to play this, predicting his hog. And then... No, don't jump on my... Perfect. So no hits. And you know what? Oh, that leaves a sour taste in my mouth. Ugh. You know what? Fuck it. We're going to evolve zap this just to kill it because... Please, die. What? Ugh. And the second one didn't hit it. That's probably why. <clears throat> All right. So. Wait. How does this counter this? Hang on. Let's just see how this goes down. What? What the fuck was that? Yeah. Wow. No shit. Even I don't know what the fuck just happened. That was bullshit. How did it hit neither? Wow. Sick Sick buff. That was great. All right. You know what? Now we have to cycle to it again. I'm going to get my, my gimmick. It's going to fucking happen. I don't care what it takes. All right. You know what is probably the smarter play, if I'm being honest, is not trying to play the gimmick. Just trying to play what is like the most appropriate kind of play. And then if the gimmick prevent, presents itself as an opportunity, then I'll take it. But like these bots are going try hard mode and I can't, I can't afford to just like do that. I can't just afford to fuck around and and get destroyed by Earthquake Cycle, because my mental health will not be okay after that. Alright, I know what he's going to do, and I'm just going to play him predictively. Perfect. Yeah, okay. I will go for it, just to kill it. It's so annoying. That's what Evolves Out's meant to be about. Just killing the, uh, killing the Firecracker. And now, I'm going to cycle... Ooh. I don't think there's going to be a reason for me to play my Evolve Valkyrie. So I'm going to play e in the back and hope that Firecracker stays in the other lane. Is he going to go hog here? Because if he does... Okay, no. All right, you know what? It's time. Let's go, baby. He used his... He used his, um... thing -o. It's kind of working. I don't have the Evolve Zap in hand, but the gimmick is working a little bit, I guess. Oh, that was... That was kind of gross. His defense was kind of gross there. So we're going to go like this and try and use the Valkyrie to kill that. And we take no damage. Okay. And then we'll go with a Zap here. This is actually the most annoying deck to play with my deck because he can just Tesla, Firecracker, Cycle Cards. Okay, that's fine. Um, can't really afford to take much more damage in the other lane. We'll go like this. He can Earthquake if he wants. Come on, Valkyrie! Nice, so that's not going to get a hit. Okay, let's... Fuck. All right, let's go for this. Hopefully, the second and then the third zap will kill it. Perfect! Has he choked? We will win this game. I don't care what it takes. I will play enough e at the bridge. I will... Oh my god, it's on the tower. That's going to... Oh, it's not pulling the firecracker in? What the fuck? Oh, yes! Kill the firecracker! What? How did it not die? e -bobs! Please! Please, one more hit. All right. We're going to have to take this with... You know what? Why am I not... Okay, we're going to have to take this with Evolve Zap. It's literally the only way. Fucking E-Bombs, take it! All right. The gimmick um, actually worked out, but I realized that is a gimmick deck. 
So I am not actually planning on playing this for the whole video. This is what I'm putting my money into. Hog Evolve Zap Skeleton Cycle. I believe in this deck. And Jack is going to be my first victim. And I believe in it. I don't know. I just figured that... I don't know. It just seems... I don't know. There's actually fuck all reasons. I, I don't believe in it at all, if I'm being honest. <sighs> oh! A fellow e player! It's really just not that exciting, though, is it? I should have zapped that, like, 20 years ago. Also to a cycle to my Evolve Zap. Evolve Zap still doesn't feel like a real word. Evolve Zap is not a real thing. I refuse to believe it. Anyway, um... Yeah, the reason why this deck's broken is because Hog is a broken level 15 win condition that I can just cycle over and over again, and then I can just play Evolve Zap, kill everything, and then Evolve Skeletons can defend everything cheap. Like, he's gonna be like, oh, yeah, I can defend with that. No, you can't. Zap. I actually zapped a bit early. But, still probably gonna get the same amount of damage. Now, this is where things get tricky. I'm going to cycle my Skeletons first, because I want... What? Jack? Everything okay? Um, sorry, I'm just a bit flustered. I did not expect that to happen. First of all, it's also mirrored to be level 15, not 16. Um, I'm not sure who's playing the gimmick deck anymore, if I'm being honest. Um, Vault Skeletons go! What the fuck? <coughs> what? <coughs> no! <coughs> Go and save me, dude! Okay, that, sorry, that was bewildering. You know, they may have a simple name like Jack. They might not be any clan, in any clan. But that doesn't mean they've got no tricks up their sleeve. Because Jack certainly does. You know what? Okay, dude. Seriously, man? I should have just evolved Zap. I should have gone Hog same lane and then evolved Zap. Because then, you know what, we're going to do it here. Ooh! Kill the... Kill the... Oh! Oh god. I gotta focus on the other one. Dude, this deck is kind of na kind of nasty. Holy fuck. I mean, I get that Jack's playing like this. But this deck kind of goes hard. What are you doing, Jack? It's Jova. It's fucking Jova, dude. <laughs> Alright. Look. I've just come up with an even better idea. I know that Jack was playing a gimmick deck, but I have a better idea. What if I take out Spear Goblins, put them in the Evolve spot, right? Take out Evolve Skeletons, because whilst they are good, I think this will be better. And then put in Evolved Tesla. Holy moly. Now we have a building. It's 2.1 cycle. Oh my god. That's fucked. It's just going to be Hog Cycle. I have Evolved Tesla. And Evolve Zap. You defend one hog, boom, there's another one. And you have to get through an Evolve Tesla cycle defense. This might be the best deck I've ever made. Okay, I'm getting a little far ahead of myself. Let's um, slow it down a little bit and see how it goes in against, my f against my first Korean. Because for some reason, I always play against fucking Koreans. I don't know why, but we're here. Um, now, I'm thinking... What, dude? Okay, I was going to say, I'm thinking in this deck, I might just cycle a Tesla in the middle, but when he's making plays like that, you're just begging for a beating. I'm sorry, my friend. I don't, I don't like hurting people, but in this case, I actually do. That was a fucking lie. Um, yep, yeah, that's going to be an easy defense. Good thing we put in Tesla for the Golem match. <laughs> that's convenient timing. Okay, you know what? We're going to do this. And then, yep, yeah, just as intended. That's what I wanted. Great. Good work, Mr. Ice Golem. Really good teamwork. Glad to see you helping the troops out. And you're just going to meander and stroll to your death. Good one. Really good. Oh my god, this guy is such a tease. He's begging... Um, he's begging for me to get the... Uh, do I need a... Uh, another useless Ice Golem. What are you doing, Ice Golem? You're a waste of space. Sorry. Um, lost my cool for a second there. Um, yeah, I, this guy is basically begging for me to get back to my Evolve Tesla and Zap. I just realized I haven't played Zap once this game. I should probably do that at some point. Feels like, you know, a valuable thing to do. Um, if he's playing Golem, 
I'll just play Honk. He, he's, there's no way he's just going to tank that and save up for... Yeah, Zap! It's just not that exciting, is it? I don't want to play my Evolved Tesla because against the Golem, it's going to be nasty. I mean, it won't be that good. Hang on. I can activate King here if I'm still good at the game. There we go. I was about to say no, I'm not, but nailed it. And then I just play another Hog Rider. Woo! And he's going to play Golem at the bridge because he is getting desperate. Fuck, wait. That was not my best. Okay, we're going to have to go with this. And hopefully the Evolve Zaps don't ruin my life. Ooh. Ooh, okay. Mr. Korea stepping up the heat. I see, buddy. I see what you're about. Okay, Ice Skull, I'm actually doing bits now. Um, and then I just do the... It <coughs> what are you doing, dude? What? I'm just gonna zap. I don't care. Evolve zap. Just, just keep, keep the golem there. He's never gonna get anywhere. Holy fuck! I've actually just created the most broken. This is a good deck. I don't care what anyone says. Maybe the one thing I would change is. Oh no! I was gonna say maybe put in barb barrel, but that might mitigate your use of zap. I like zap being like the only small spell because if I had barb barrel, I would use it instead of the zap. I'm thinking something instead of the ice golem. But maybe that matchup, I, like, I'm thinking something like a Valkyrie. Like, having a Valkyrie in the back to have killed, you know, that that thing would have been good. Or a Golden Knight or something. You know what? Maybe a champion. Hang on. What if I just put in a Golden Knight? Now it's 2.4. It's getting a little bit heavier. But that kind of looks dirty. But the Golden Knight isn't what I need. I need something that's, like, good at killing stuff behind things. And you know what? If I'm playing a cycle deck, maybe I just stick with Ice Golem. Because then it's like, I'm just going to use the Evolved Tesla and the Evolved Zap. Like, I want to keep it cycly. And I want to keep it cheap. So that the Evolved shit can kill everything. That's what you're relying on. You're just cycling quickly to make sure you have the right evolutions and cycle to defend. Because if there was a... Oh, God. Not Evolved Wall Breakers. This might be a test. If... If... If, if there's a wizard behind a golem, for example, I could play a golden knight, right? But that's not what I want to do. I want to play an ice golem and cheap cards. Like I want to, the, the fun of this deck, I think, is getting good with the cheap cards. Cycling Teslas in the middle, shit like that. That's what makes this fun. And um, I, as soon as I start adding bulky cards like golden knight, it slows down the cycle and the reliance on like the cheap cards to kill everything. I don't trust the bats. Maybe I have trust issues, but... That's a topic for a different day. So that's why I'm keeping it cheap. That's why I like Ice Golem. And Ice Golem is also good with Hog. And Golden Knight really isn't as good. And so that's why I'm going to do it. I don't care. All right? Sue me. Actually, don't sue me. I need the money right now. I'm currently on the run from the Australian tax office. Hopefully they're not a subscriber of the Ken channel. Otherwise, this might be awkward. See, I could go Hog there. But if I can play this... Okay, we're going to start mitigating this damage. Ooh, ooh, sneaky bandit, Frankie. Slow down there, speed racer. Um, yeah, if I can not play hog there and defend, it means I get my Volt Tesla, which is just sexy as fuck. And that's what I did. You're just a nuisance. What? What the fuck? What the fuck? Please, skeletons. Please. Dude. Evolve Warbreakers are need a nerf. Evolve wall breakers and skeletons are fucking ridiculous. Like, how do you even counter them? Arrows don't counter them. What counters them? I guess Tesla, right? Te you need a building. Okay. So, will guards die to evolve zap? That's something I want to keep in mind. But now that I have the evolve zap... Okay, buddy. Settle down. Okay, you're not that guy. Guards, stay away from my tower! Um, what I was going to say is now that I've got Ice Golem, I'm going to play Hog, and uh, because I've evolved that for defense, I'm just going to use it right here. I don't care. Boom. Boom. And he got scared and played Gods. That's good enough for me. I may or may not have forgotten about the Inferno Tower. Okay, you know what? He's going in. Go! Ooh, yes. This is what it's all about. Hog right in the other lane, just defending with cheap stuff and then just cycling Hog. That's what this deck is all about. Probably changing lanes would be a good idea. I'm not going to go Tesla, man. I don't need it. I don't need it, man. I don't need you. All I need 
is a sexy hog rider and an evolved zap. All right, guys? Smash like for sexy hog rider. What are you doing? I know what you're going to do. Bats. I mean, <laughs> wall breakers. Bandit. And then I do this and I win the game. Sucks to suck, but that's the Evolve Zap experience. Good game. <laughs> suck it, Frankie. I don't know why, but today I feel like AIDS for some reason. And today is also the day I chose I would do a longer video. You know why? Because I want to finish off with this sexy balloon Evolve Skeleton Zap deck. Because I played this in the other video and I did not get enough of it. I want to play this again. It was so fucking fun. Sue me, all right? Actually, why do I keep saying that? Don't. Mega Knight first play in the back. Is that what they do in Puerto Rico, Kangri? And he doesn't care. Has he got Tornado? Ooh! Bro's got the Evolve Zap too. Okay, Kangri. Okay, buddy. Clean Fire Crash is the bridge. That's above your pay check level. I don't know what I'm saying. All right. He's got Evolve Knight and Evolve Zap. Step one. Identify evolutions. We've done that. Step two. Activate King Tower. Yeah! Okay, good start. So now we can kill his Mega Knights with an activate. Why did I even play bats? Literally could have just zapped. Ooh, ooh. Wait, why would he do that? You know what? I'm just going to go with a balloon. Let's see what he does here. Because all I know is he's got Fireball. He's probably just going to Fireball Zap, to be honest. But that's fine with me. Death. What? One more hit! Yeah! Okay. A rare moment where actually zapping gets me another hit. Thank you, Kangri. Um, you know what? Let's just throw a cheeky little spirit at the bridge. Don't, don't mind him. He's just going to go and get like... 300 damage, and then you're going to play a late night. Good one, Kangri from P Puerto Rico. Oh, God, I'm leaking. Okay, we're going to do this. Okay, this is going to go in a compilation. 10,000 IQ defenses in Clash Royale. Holy smokes. He even tried the Evolve Zap on me. No, no, no. Not going to work on me, Kangri. Um, let's just do this. Fuck it, we ball, dude. And now I can Evolve Zap. I mean, get to my Evolve Zap. That's just not going to work for you, Chief. Squirt. What are you doing? Oh, that fucking worked. Okay, fair enough. Who am I to question his plays? Um, yep. Yep. Ooh, yep. And now what does he do? Because all I have to do is this. Evolve Zap stuns are too sexy, man. Oh, I'm leaking. This deck is too good. You know it's too good when you have too much elixir. Like, I'm going to have to start playing balloons in the back. So was the hog deck when I put in Tesla. Okay. Okay, let him cook. You know what? I'm kind of in a cunty mood right now. I mean, a, uh, a PG-friendly, uh, G-rated mood right now. And so I'm going to take his other tower because I'm feeling that confident. I reckon I could defend literally anything. I could defend Jesus. If he was on the board. And then I'm going to zap his other tower. Just to be a tease. Is that going to do enough? Excellent. <laughs> now I'm going to start zapping his other tower. <laughs> God. Don't let the ice golem connect. Don't you do it. Defend the skeletons, dude. Why would you do that? No, the ice got connected. What do I do now? Do I just start zapping his king tower? <laughs> Kangri, I'm so sorry, dude, but there's not much... Okay, I'm just going to zap his king. <laughs> Defend the ice golem, it's going to kill you, bro. No, the ice golem's going to win it. Wait, I'm going to zap the other tower. No, no. Oh, that was funny, though. Poor Kangri. I should have tried. I should have tried to take both towers at the same time. Oh, uh, well, that was funny. That was really funny. Anyway, that's a longer Smash Royale video. If you enjoyed, make sure to smash subscribe. See what I did there. And yeah, do it.